Organized gang stalking. It's happening all over the United States. It's happening here in San Diego County. It's called organized gang stalking, and there is no law against it. The phenomena was first noted by a German industrial psychologist, Dr. Heinz Lehmann. He noted that a group of people would target an individual to force the individual out of the workplace, and he called what they did mobbing. Authors Noah Zanali, Ruth Distler Schwartz, and Gail Purcell have described how it works in their book, Mobbing, USA Emotional Abuse, in the Workplace. Whether taking place in the workplace, or in the community, mobbing, as it is called when it happens in a workplace, or organized gang stalking, as it is called when it happens in the community, involves a kind of psychological torture, whose goal is to drive the target out or neutralize the target. In the community it often works by sensitizing the target to a stimulus all of the organized gang stalkers use. The stimulus is often an everyday thing, for instance, the color red. The thing that makes the stimulus so aversive is the frequency with which it occurs. A group of 20 or 30 or 50 or more of organized gang stalkers might be involved in harassing the target, so the target is continuously harassed with the same stimulus but by different individuals. Every time the target enters or leaves his or her home, for instance, an organized gang stalker will be there with something red on. The target's routines are ascertained. Neighbors, afraid of being gang stalked themselves, might alert the gang stalkers when the target is leaving his or her home. When the target walks on the beach, three or four gang stalkers wearing red might be there. When the target opens his or her blinds in the morning, the first thing he or she will see is a person wearing red. Organized gang stalkers typically try to be the run entrances or exits of the target so that when the target comes out of a store, the first thing he or she sees will be a gang stalker in red. It is the frequency of the stimulus that makes it so aversive and the isolation of the target. Gang stalkers often target people without support systems. The target's property might have trash thrown on it. There will be car alarms set off if the target tries to take a walk or the beeping of horns. The gang stalkers often use noise to try to deprive the target of sleep. A program of touchless torture is set up by the organized gang stalkers in 24-7 harassment. The organized gang stalking might go on for years. Gang stalking. Primary targets are women, minorities, dissidents, whistleblowers. Tactics include telling lies about target, surveillance of the target's movements by the gang stalkers. Gang stalkers use red cars, red trucks, wear slash carry red and listen of neighbors to join in the harassment and attempt to try to isolate the target. Increase some noise in the vicinity of the target's home. Noise used for harassment time to get the target's life when he slash she leaves her home, goes into her yard. The use of dogs to intimidate turning up at the target jumping out of car windows. Hammering used for harassment. Wrong numbers to target's telephone. Dumping garbage on target's phone. Exiting or entering at the same time the target exits, or enters her slash the stand for the purpose of harassment. Psychological tactics where ordinary everyday items are repetitively used to create a double bind. Open garage doors, lawn mowers left on front lawns repetitively used by gang stalkers to attract the target's notice, where to notice and report such everything things makes the target sound crazy the intent of gang stalkers. Damage the property of target. On unit points. Vehicle stopping and standing in front of Target's home especially when he slash she enters slash exits. Shining lights in Target's home. The purpose of the sword and ice gas is to neutralize the target. To make the target appear unstable and to discredit the target in the larger community. To alienate and marginalize the target from the larger community. To use tactics that leave no evidence for prosecution.
You know, Al Gore told us that there was an inconvenient truth about the way we were living, <laughs> that it's going to cause our extinction. Well, we have another inconvenient truth that may cause our extinction a lot quicker than what we did to the planet in terms of nature. Uh, this is uh, a device that detects elect uh, electrosmog, but basically it detects the vibration of microwave. 